Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, and this is Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii. I was the head coach of the Punahou Boys varsity tennis team for 22 years, and we were fortunate to win 22 consecutive state championships. My books, Beyond the Lines and Beyond the Game, are about leadership, character, and creating a superior culture of excellence, which is what this show is all about. My special guest today won this year's National Miss Teen USA title and is the second team from Hawaii to win it since Kelly Hu in 1985. She is Kiilani Aruda, and today we are going beyond the crown. Hey, Kiilani, welcome to Beyond the Lines. Hi, thank you so much for having me here. I'm so excited. Well, it's so good to see you again. I was, I was cheering you on at the pageant through the television. Thank you so much. I know it's been a crazy year and because of coronavirus, we have been, been able to have a big crowd at Miss Teen USA, but I definitely felt all the love from home. So I'm very grateful for that. Thank you so much. Now, Kiilani, tell me, tell me what you love about growing up on Kauai. Yes, so I was born and raised on Kauai. I've always lived here for my whole life. And there's so many things that I get to appreciate about my island. I think one of the things that I appreciate the most is the community that we have here. It's a really tight knit community. And even when going to Miss Teen USA, I've had so many people send me so many messages of like of gratitude and of support. And that's really so special to me is how close I am to everybody here. And that with this title, hopefully I can give back to my island too that has supported me throughout this journey. So I'm really, really grateful that I got to represent not only my state, but my island at Miss Teen USA. Well, I think you're gonna be a fantastic representative of Kauai and all of Hawaii. And I know that you graduated from island school in Lihui and you <laughs> had a 4.0 GPA and you were class president. Tell me about your experiences at, at island school. Yeah, so also I went to island school for all throughout my schooling career. So I really liked island school because they really pushed me to do my best academically, both in and out of the classroom. What I love about island school also is the really small, tight-knit community that they had there because teachers were always there to help their students and students are also there to help the students. And I really feel like that's what learning is about, is having that community of people who want to learn and who want to pursue further education. So I'm really grateful for that, that I got to go there and have that experience in high school. And that has prepared me for also for college. I'm in my freshman year of college right now. And even though it's kind of crazy because of COVID and having to do online classes, I'm really grateful for the opportunity to get to study further. And Kiilani, what kind of sports did you play uh, in high school? Yeah, so I played volleyball, swimming, and I did track and field. I did hurdles. And I've always loved to be, be um, out on the court. It's always my favorite thing to be out with my team, especially. And yeah, I've had so many great experiences from doing sports. I know that you are a coach and congratulations on your state championships as well. I forgot to mention that. But yeah, I... Loved volleyball. I did volleyball for all four years of high school. And really, it was a family thing, too. My grandpa did volleyball and my stepdad coached volleyball. So it was really something that I got to share with my family that I was really grateful for. And being on a team with such amazing people who supported you and who knows the struggles of being a student athlete, but can always support each other. That's my favorite thing about doing sports. So Ki'ilani, when and why did you decide to enter your first pageant? Yeah, so my first pageant, it was about two years ago. And actually, my mom heard about it from her friend because her daughter did pageants too. And when my mom mentioned it to me, she was like, oh, there's this great opportunity to run in this pageant. It's a really small pageant and it's just going to be a great opportunity for you to increase your confidence. And I did not know it would take me all the way to Miss Teen USA stage. So that's really funny looking back at that. But I did that first pageant because I did want to do something new and see if I can gain confidence from doing that. And I'm really grateful that I got to have that experience because I've met so many people along the way and I've grown so much as a person. So that's what I'm really thankful for. So that was my first pageant was 2019 Miss Kauai Teen USA. And I won that and I advanced to the Miss Hawaii Teen USA pageant in 2019, which I also got to meet so many amazing ladies from around the state. And that just inspired me to like be a leader and do so much great things in our country, in our state. 
So Kiilani, when you went to Miss Hawaii Teen USA for the first time after winning the Kauai Teen, uh, how did you finish and, and what was your experiences like? Yeah, so I placed second runner up to Le Makamai. She was actually one of my really, really close friends during the pageant. And it was an amazing experience. I felt that even though I didn't win, I grew so much as a person and I knew after the pageant, right straight after the pageant, I was talking to my director and we're like, hey, we have to do this again because this is so amazing and this is so awesome. And even I wanted to grow even more as a person and grow my platform. So that's why I continued this following year. But yeah, so the first year at Miss Hawaii Teen USA 2019, it was an amazing experience. It was my first state pageant. So I was really excited. I was really nervous, but at the end, it was just an overall amazing experience. You know, I find it interesting that you had mentioned that your mom was actually the one to kind of urge you to enter your first pageant. And a few years ago, I was a judge for the Miss Hawaii Teen U USA pageant. And, um, and it's, it's really well done. I mean, I absolutely love it. And I also know that a lot of the girls uh, have certain insecurities that they're dealing with in the pageant. Mm -hmm. What are some insecurities that you have? Yeah, that's a really good question. I think for me, I've always been a perfectionist for my whole life. So I've always wanted to get things done in the most perfect way. And that for me, going into the pageant, you can't be perfect because people will know when people know that people aren't perfect. So for me, it was just being vulnerable and be able to show my true self. But that's really what helped me with my pageant experience, because I know that you can't be perfect. And there are other girls who have the same insecurities as you. So I think that you just have to be confident in your own self. So Ki'ilani, the following year, you enter the Miss Hawaii Teen USA pageant again, and you <laughs> win it. And yeah. I want to know, what did you learn about yourself that year that you grew from the previous year? Definitely. Like I was saying before, it was really just having confidence in my own self and being who I am. I felt that in my first year in running in the pageant, there was a lot of outside pressure. You know, everybody looks at previous pageant years and be like, oh, I want to be like this person. I want to be like that person. But you really just have to be your true self. And that's how I went into it. My second year, I was like, I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to know who I am and what I stand for. And I'm going to show the judges who I am, because that's really you can only portray yourself as the person you are in front of those judges. And they're going to love you for who you are. And that's really what they want to see. So I'm really blessed that I got to go again in second year and take the crown. It was an amazing experience. And I just wanted to have fun, too, because pageants are supposed to be a fun experience. Of course, it's a competition, but you get to meet so many girls and do so many fun activities. And it's just so amazing. What was one of the fun activities that you remember doing with your uh, with your contestant friends? Ooh, there's so many that we did. I mean, we were lucky that we were here in Hawaii, so we did a lot of activities outside. I think one of my favorite activities that we did was probably we went we went to Waikiki, and I think we rode these like little inflatable like pool bikes I don't know what you call them but we don't have them here so it was really cool just getting to like goof off for a second and not have to feel like you have to be pretty pageant mode just like have fun in the water well I want to do that too <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now Keelani you you have great family support I mean you're, you're so close with your family tell me a, a bit about them yeah so I have my mom and my stepdad. My mom's name is Napua. And my stepdad's name is Kaipo. And then I have two younger siblings who I love so much. My brother's name is Channing and my sister's name is Leia. And it's a pretty, pretty hefty age difference between me and my siblings. Between me and my sister, we're 10 years apart. And with them, I am just so thankful that I get to be a role model for them. And think that's what helped me with the pageant too, is getting to show that I can be a leader to not only my siblings, but to little girls all around the world. So I wanted to instill that into my title too, is getting to be a role model. And I think that being a big sister, that's really helped me with the title. Well, you're definitely a, a, a great role model already, and you're just going to get it even greater. I know that for <laughs> sure. And let's talk about the big uh, national event now, the Miss Teen USA in Elvis Presley's Graceland. Yes. Uh, what was your mindset going into the big pageant? Yeah, so 
I mean, pageant week, if you think of it, I don't know if you, for people who haven't done pageants before, it's pretty hectic. You have to pack all your stuff. You have to make sure you have your dress, your heels, your earrings, tip to toe, everything needed to be there with you, especially since I'm going to Tennessee. I really had nowhere. I really had no other place I can get my other stuff from. So being in Tennessee, I really had to be prepared and going in the mindset. I just have to feel that I am there. I am prepared. I am worthy. Whatever happens, happens. And I just knew that I worked hard and I had people to support me. So I was really grateful for that experience. And I think just being there, you realize that there's 50 other girls and they're all in the same situation as you. And we're all just so lucky to be there. So just taking that experience for how it is and taking each step along the way and enjoying it. That's what I really wanted to do because it is a once in a lifetime experience that not everybody gets to go through. So I was really grateful to be able to represent my state and just to be there with some of the most amazing young ladies in the country. Now, I, a lot of people that I know that watch the pageant that was cheering you on, including myself, we, we all loved your a beautiful yellow dress. I mean, how did that come about? I mean, how did you select that? And, you know, tell me about that. Thank you. So I love the color yellow. It's one of my staple colors. Even my state dress was yellow. So going, we went to Sherry Hill in Texas in January, and there were so many beautiful dresses there. And I knew that I wanted to have a dress that not only represented myself, but also represented my state. And what better way to represent my state is to wear the state flower, a yellow hibiscus. So I wanted to represent the yellow hibiscus and just all the beauty of Hawaii and bring that to the national stage. And just, I felt so confident and beautiful in my dress. It was amazing. So just getting to be there and representing my state was amazing. So I'm really grateful for that. Now, I, I have to say, I mean, you said the color yellow is your favorite. I mean, the mm -hmm. yellow color, I mean, has to be your lucky color because you yeah, won the pageants when you're wearing yellow, right? <laughs> My interview dress was yellow too. And I, I do love the color yellow. I just think it just radiates this positivity. And that's what I want it to be. I want it to be positive. And especially with everything happening in, in the world right now, I think that's what we need to be is just be positive for the future. What was it like backstage with the uh, other girls, you know, from all the other states? Yeah, so first of all, I have to say the Miss Universe organization did an amazing job with all the COVID guidelines. We all had our own separate areas. Everything was being disinfected. We all had to wear our masks, which could get pretty hectic at some point. But yeah, being backstage with everybody, it was so great though, because I got to make a lot of friends along the way. So getting to see them and getting their love and support along the way was so amazing. And, but when it came to competition time, like you can tell that everybody was like kind of in their zone because everybody's focusing on like getting, make sure everything is pitch perfect because on stage you can see everything. So getting, making sure everything backstage is perfect is very important. So it was pretty hectic. But I love the rush of the excitement of being backstage. I think that's something very special to pageants is getting that rush of adrenaline and just the excitement of getting to be on stage on a national level is so amazing. So that's so awesome. So Ki'ilani, tell me about the platform that you have for now that you're Miss Teen USA. Yeah, so as Miss Hawaii Teen USA, I had my platform Channing's Voice, which is named after my brother. My brother was diagnosed with autism at the age of two, and my family and I, we kind of struggled through guiding through his disability, but we had so much help and so much support along the way and got to give the resources he needs to help him just grow as a person, so I'm really grateful for that. So I with this title, I hope to do the same for other families and create a community of people and to help people whose families have those loved ones with autism have the help and support that they need. And just to also educate the public about autism, because I feel like it's something that not a lot of people know about. Even when my brother was diagnosed with autism, we did not know much about the disability itself. So we got to learn a lot about that. So I think that just spreading that to the public too is really important. And with the Miss Teen USA and Miss USA organization, I hope to work with Best Buddies, which is another organization that helps people with disabilities as well. I love hearing that autism is your platform. And last year I was a guest speaker for you and your contestants of Miss Teen, Miss Teen Hawaii USA and Miss Hawaii USA. And you have my book. Um, yes, and I wanna know about what you like about my book. What stood out to you? 
Yes, so many things. So I think it's a great book that I think all teenagers or all people should read because I think motivation and success is something so important, but something that isn't really taught in our school system. So I'm very grateful for that book. Thank you so much. And for me, there are so many lessons that I could take from that. But one of the things that stood out for me, like I was saying before, I ran for Miss Hawaii Teen USA 2019 and and I didn't win, but I won. I thought that I won for myself because I've learned and grown so much as a person. So in your book, I read that Losing is when you lose with a poor attitude, but getting beaten is when you have a great attitude and gave your effort. And I kept that with me throughout my reign. I knew that I'm just going to have a good attitude because whatever happens, happens. And whatever is meant to be, meant to be. But if I work hard and I give it my effort and I have a good attitude and I win, then that makes it just so much more awesome, that win for me. So that was one of the things that I took from your book. I love hearing that. And, you know, also in it, I know, you know, about, you know, I talk a lot about resiliency and perseverance mm -hmm. and um, courage and risk. And you yes. are a great example of all of that because that's what you did. Now, how important is it to take risks? Do you think? It's so important. I think my whole life I've been taking risks just because you never know what's going to happen. So, but having that courage and having that thing that, you know within yourself that you're good enough, then no matter what happens on the outside, then you gave it your effort and you get, gave it your all. So I think that it's so important just to do things you would never think you would done because who knows what the outcome could be. I would never have won Miss Teen USA if I didn't step out on that first stage in my first pageant at Miss Kauai Teen USA and took that risk and had the courage to do that. And I'm just so, so amazing to look back at it and see how far I've come. Now, earlier you were talking about that you're a role model to your younger brother and sister. And I want to ask you about Miss Hawaii USA, uh, Samantha Nealon, who finished in the top 10 of the Miss mm -hmm. USA pageant. And she seems like she's your older sister. Um, and you guys have a great relationship. Tell, tell me a bit about uh, Samantha. Oh, yes, Samantha. I love her so much. I've gotten to know her so much this past year and I'm so grateful for having such a great role model because I've actually always wanted a big sister I mean it's great being an older sister but having somebody to look up to and give that support and that's exactly what Samantha is she was Miss Hawaii Teen USA in 2013 and then I know she did an amazing job representing our state there and I just knew that having this role model, having this person who could mentor me throughout my year. I'm so grateful for her. And I'm so excited to see her next week at the Miss Hawaii Teen USA 2021 pageant. And sadly, we will be giving up our Hawaii crowns, but I know she's done so much and so many amazing things. So I'm super grateful for her. No, and I know that when, when she was watching you at your pageant, she was, uh, you know, posting things on Instagram mm -hmm. and Facebook and and she was like crying watching. She was so happy for you. Uh, did you yeah. did you get to talk to her about that? I did. I got to FaceTime her because unfortunately with Corona, we can't be face to face right now. But yeah, she was, I was so happy to get to talk to her afterwards. And I just thanked her for being such a great supporter for me. And she's so sweet. And I really was sad that we didn't get to see each other more during the week, but I'm really glad that I got to talk to her then. And I wish you guys could have, could have seen me during her pageant because I was literally on the edge of my seat because she was called last for top 15 or top 16. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they better call Sam. I was so, so excited when her name was called though. And she did so amazing. I'm so proud of her. Yeah, that was pretty dramatic. And uh, I was squeezing there too. And I want to ask you about Alicia Michioka, the Miss Hawaii USA owner and the Miss mm -hmm. Hawaii Teen USA pageant owner and director. What do you admire about Alicia's leadership in these uh, pageants? Yeah, I love Alicia. She's actually a fellow Kauai girl. So I've gotten, I've gotten to bond with a lot over her over that. And she is just so amazing because she really just wants to empower women and bring out their best of themselves. And I think that she does an amazing job with the pageant and each individual is like telling them to be their best. So I think that as a director, that's something that she does greatly to support these women in their dreams. And I'm so grateful for her for supporting me in my dreams and always being there for me and as a mentor too, because she was a previous Miss Hawaii USA. So I'm really grateful for that. 
<laughs> yeah, no, I know Alicia for many years and I, I know that she greatly cares. She has great empathy for all of her contestants. And that's why she brought me in as a guest speaker last year and bought books for all the contestants. Yes. And she did the same this year. And so a few weeks ago, I did the guest speaking uh, through Zoom <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. for all the contestants. Uh, oh, and she's just mm -hmm. wanting to really prepare everybody the best that they can be you know, prepared for. Uh, but not just for the pageant. She really is trying to prepare them for life. Um, did you get the feel that she was doing the same for you? Yes, she definitely was. And telling me about getting my tasks done and knowing where I want to go in life and just being that leader, she really inspires me to be a leader and to take my own life into my own hands. So I'm really thankful for that. And that's something I can apply outside of the pageant too. When it comes to school or it comes to work or business, I'm really excited to get to apply that to my life. Thank you, Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> now, Kiilani, you were featured on the cover of Midweek, and there's not too many people that can be featured on the cover of Midweek, but how did you feel being featured there? It was amazing, and plus, it was the Midweek for Thanksgiving, and Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. So I was super happy to be on Midweek, and yeah, just... It's amazing to think like how many amazing people are in Hawaii that are making a difference in our country. And it just humbles me that I get to be a part of that amazing community of people who are doing so much and representing our state. So I'm just really thankful for that and getting to be on midweek and getting to interview with them. It was just opened my eyes to like how much of an amazing title this is and how much this could take me. So I'm very grateful for that. Now, when you look back at your short life so far, What's the best advice you ever received? Yeah, the best advice I've ever received. I have to say it was from my parents. They told me that life is like a bank. If you put a certain amount of money in, you can only take that certain amount of money out. So the work that you put in is what you're going to be able to take out of it. So they always encouraged me to work hard at what I do and to pursue what I love and my passions and to give it my 100% all. And that's what I've really wanted to do with my life. And even with the pageant is giving it my 100% and trying my best to make my family proud too. So I'm really grateful for them to instilling that so early in my life so I can bring that with me as hopefully one day when I go off to college and I go off into the workplace and even if I'm away from Hawaii or I'm in Hawaii that I have that support from them. Well, you are a woman of great character. And I always say that, you know, parents are the ones that really shape their kids character first. And then coaches like me can come along and really try to enhance or improve the character. Um, but I, I want to ask you this now, Ki'ilani, what advice do you have for other girls that are potentially thinking about entering a pageant? Yeah, I'd say if somebody wants to enter a pageant, if they have even one little inkling of wanting to do it, then they should just go for it because it is really such an amazing experience and something that you really can't get out of anything else because you grow so much as a person. And I think what's really important about pageants is getting to know yourself and being comfortable with yourself. And once you're comfortable with yourself, then you're comfortable sharing that with the rest of the world. So I'd say if you wanna do a pageant, do it, give it your all and just have fun and be yourself because that's the most important thing that you can do for yourself. Okay, so these girls that will enter pageants, what advice do you have for their parents? <laughs> yes, yeah, so I feel bad for my parents, I have to be honest. <laughs> they probably go through just as much as I am going through. So I have to say, that it can get stressful at some times, but just know that your daughter is so thankful for you and that she's doing this for you. I know that for us, I know for me that I had to fundraise a lot. So I, that's the one thing I would give advice to the parents is fundraise early because things can get a little bit pricey because they do add up. So get a good fundraiser, sell some lao lao. I sold sweet bread. So that's one thing I would recommend. <laughs> Oh, can't go wrong with Lao Lao and sweet bread, right? <laughs> sweet bread, oh my God, I can't tell you how many times we had um, French toast after that because we just had so much bread. <laughs> well, sweet bread French toast is the best. <laughs> Not really no. pageant, but hey, 
You have to have a cheat day there somewhere. Now, Keelani, is there a story or an example of you uh, dealing with an adversity situation or a very challenging situation in your life as you were growing up that you can share? Yeah, I'd have to say, especially it was my, I think it was after my first pageant and it was when I was competing for Miss Hawaii Teen USA 2020, there were times where I did doubt myself because it's impossible to keep all the negative comments out of your head. It's just a natural human thing just to think about a bad situation or what could happen. But I think for me is really trying to stay positive in those situations and just knowing that if I work hard, then it's okay because I will give my 100% effort. So just not doubting myself for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like hearing that and be confident and trust yourself, believe in yourself. And yes. yeah, because doubt, doubt is very powerful. I mean, that one ounce of doubt can just throw your whole life uh, in a different direction, right? It can. I think that's and I think, and it just like builds up upon each other. So I think really starting off your day well, and it was actually something I read in your book is make your bed first thing in the morning. And I was really bad about that. I never liked to make my bed, but I started doing that. And I actually did notice a difference when I started making my bed first thing in the morning. I was like, look at it. I'm like, wow, that's a nice bed. I'm going to go do something else. And it just builds upon that and builds upon that. And if we start off on a right foot, then your day will go well. Yeah, I see. It's all the book is all coming back to you now, it Keelani. Is. <laughs> <laughs> now, Keelani, I want to ask you one more question before we wrap up. What's what are some of your future goals? Yeah, so well, first step, I am in college, so I like to finish college with my undergraduate degree. I am pursuing a career in molecular and cellular biology, and I hope to one day go to medical school because I would like to be a dermatologist one day because I myself have struggled with skin issues in the past. So I want to help other teenagers feel confident in their own skin and love their own skin and be able to have confidence in themselves. So that's what I would like to do in the future. And yeah, after I go to college, I would love to return to Hawaii and like start my business here and just inspire other young women to just do greatness. I'm who knows, maybe I'll run for Miss Hawaii USA one day. We'll see where that goes. Maybe in a couple of years, I still have some time too. But as the year goes, I just really want to appreciate this title that I have now and take it one step of the day and really just get to enjoy it. Well, Keelani, I have to say you are a woman of outstanding character and I have no doubt that you will inspire and impact many people uh, in countless ways. And I really wanna thank you for taking time to be on the show today. Thank you, I'm so glad I could be here and talk with you. And thank you for watching Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii. For more information, please visit rustykomori.com and my books are available on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. I hope that Kiilani and I will inspire you to create your own superior culture of excellence and to find your greatness and help others find theirs. Aloha. <laughs>